Here is Delta November 2, Mike Kravik Tango, calling Oscar Romeo 4, International Space Station. Do you copy? Over. Delta's Delta November 2, Mike Kravik Tango, calling Oscar Romeo 4, International Space Station. Do you copy? Over. Delta November 2, Mike Quebec Tango. This is Oscar Romeo 4, India, Sierra, Sierra. Read you loud and clear. Over. Hello, Paolo. Hear you loud and clear too. Greetings from Munich to the International Space Stations. Here are the questions for you. In the space station, do you dream of Earth or space? Over. In the space station, do you dream of Earth or space? Over. Well, actually, I, I really, I, I'm not sure what I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming about all the usual uh, things, strange dreams sometimes, normal dreams, but nothing different from, uh, from Earth, from when I am on Earth. Uh, and I actually sleep very well. Over. Daniel, what will be the first things you will do when you return to Earth? Over. I think uh, I will actually, I, I, I feel I will smell the, her, the earth, the, the smell of the wind, feel the wind, uh, and probably eat something fresh, because I haven't eaten something fresh for a long time. Over. Tim, what do you do when do you have homesick? Over. Well, Tim, uh, we, I don't get that much uh, homesick. I'm used to, and uh, years and years of training to be away from uh, my friends and family. Uh, I have a wife or a daughter, so I don't really get homesick uh, much, uh, but I call them uh, often. Over. Daniel, передайте, пожалуйста, привет вашим коллегам Александру, Олегу и Дмитрию. Как вы сотрудничаете? And Daniel, everything is uh, going fine here. Alexander and Oleg uh, returned to Earth a couple of days ago, uh, but Dmitry is right here and uh, is waving. Uh, so everything is going fine. You're good, working really well. Over. Severin, what's your favorite thing to eat on the ISS? Over. Severin, there are a lot of food uh, here that I really like. Uh, but uh, overall, I really like to eat nuts and uh, fruit. Uh, over. Dominic, are you scared of the return flight or the daily life on Earth? Over. I'm not sure if you're talking about the re-entry flight with the capsule, which is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a really big uh, re-entry. Uh, I'm not really scared. I'm actually looking forward uh, to it and uh, experience uh, this uh, wild uh, ride. And uh, everyday life, uh, I think uh, everybody has everyday days. It's just on us to make them special. Over. Lena. Do you think that the increasing commercialization of space travel brings a positive or negative effect with it? And if you could choose who could come as a tourist to the ISS during your mission, who would you choose? Over. Well, uh, I think the commercialization of space travel is a very positive uh, thing, and I'm looking forward to uh, for the possibility to everybody to come in space and not to professional astronauts. And. Uh, uh, I, <laughs> there are many people that I would like to be here during my mission uh, as a tourist, uh, my family, my friends, but also people that are able to describe the Earth in a better way than I'm able to. Over. Rafael, can you have a private life? Over. Well, uh, here in the station, uh, you know, we work together and live together. Uh, you can have some privacy, uh, but in general, it's, it's uh, more a common life, and this is fine. Over. Natalie, are there ever problems due to the long time spent working with the same people and staying in such a small and tight space? Over. Well, uh, Natalie, n we, we uh, of course, uh, obviously, every day there are little misunderstandings and things like this, but we, we train long enough, and we know each other long enough, and we know what are the positive and negatives, and we really do everything we can to get along, and so far we have been very successful. Over. Lissy, is it quite allowed in space? Over. 
Well, it's the outside, uh, there is vacuum, so it's very quiet. Inside uh, the space station, uh, it's alive with fans and noise, little motors, uh, air has to circulate all the time. So there are little uh, noises here and there, uh, but I, I find it very peaceful, uh, no cars, uh, no trains, uh, no big noises. Over. Tassilo, if you were separated from the station during an EVA, what would you do? Over. But I think the first thing I will do is probably scream, ah, okay. And after a few seconds, I will uh, then uh, uh, deploy. We have a little jet pack, very little, but we can deploy it, and with it, we can uh, go back uh, to the station. You need to be really careful because that's not, uh, I mean, it works, uh, but you need to be careful with it. Over. Alina, what do you do when you're ill? I've heard that astronauts don't have any beds that they just sleep. Over. Well, uh, if we get heal, uh, ill, uh, some of us are trained as a kind of a medical officers uh, for a first uh, emergency. Um, but if you're really, really, really seriously ill, we will jump into the capsule and come back to Earth in a few hours. Uh, if you have a normal ill, you just need to rest. It's okay. You just sleep in the sleeping bag, which is tied down to the wall. Over. Alina, what? Do you have to learn when you learn to fly the shuttle? Do you have to do homework? Over. Oh yes, Alina, there is uh, many, many years of training. It took me nine years before flying my first uh, spacecraft. And uh, it looked to me I was still back in school every single day. I've been doing homework and studying and, and doing uh, all of these things. But uh, I had fun and the important thing is that uh, you take it as fun. Over. Marco, is it warm or cold in the space station? And if it's warm, do you get sweaty in your spacesuit? Over. And Marco, in the space station, the temperature is about between, uh, let's say, 19 to 24 degrees, and it's very comfortable. Uh, some people stay in shorts. Uh, I have long pants, and uh, and it's it's very nice. Uh, of course, when you are inside the spacesuit, uh, then there is no air circulation, and there it gets uh, pretty warm. But we have some kind of uh, undergarment where some cool water is uh, passed by and cool us uh, down. If we get sweaty, it's okay. After a while, you take your clothes off when you, when you get out and uh, let them dry. Over. Mateos, has the ISS been hit by space debris? Over. Mateos, yes, there is a lot of uh, debris up in space, uh, mostly very small, but they have a lot of uh, kinetic energy, so we have a debris shield around the station trying to keep them away. And yes, the station has been hit by little things, uh, big things, so we actually see them from radars on the ground, and we move the station in order to avoid them. So far, so good. Over. Darius, how was the liftoff for you? How do you feel? Over. Darius, liftoff in the Soyuz spacecraft was very, very interesting. I mean, uh, it's a big uh, a carnival ride, uh, and uh, you you actually you know get squished on the spacecraft, and you try to look at all the parameters, make sure that everything was okay. I feel uh, I felt I felt uh, very good, and when I arrived in the space, I felt uh, even better. It was really nice to finally feel again in zero g over. Jakob, are there often arguments? Over. Jakob, uh, arguments, uh, no. We, we discuss, we talk, and uh, we don't let things uh, boil. Uh, we just, uh, you know, as soon as there is a little misunderstanding or as soon as there is uh, somebody has some kind of feelings, uh, we just talk and clarify them. And this works uh, very well, and I encourage you to do that too. Over. How often can you communicate with your family? Over. Well, we do have uh, every week or every two weeks we have a video conference, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of video conference with uh, our, our families. But we also have a phone here, an IP phone that we can use to call. And I call often friends uh, and families uh, just to surprise them or to talk to them. Over. Corbinian, what would you do if you lose contact with Earth? Over. Well, Corbinian, if uh, the space station has a lot of redundancy, for communications and uh, it's really uh, difficult, I think, that we really lose uh, contact with the Earth. But it actually happened a couple of months ago, for six hours we lost uh, contact, but we have procedural board, and in case uh, that happens, then uh, the system tells us we just uh, 
Does Earth look big or small to you? Over. Well, maybe if you're still here, thank you, Paolo, for the contacts and all students. Wish you a good time. Over.